Hey guys. <clears throat> My. Hey guys. I know it's been a while. Um, finally back. Um, a lot of stuff happened. We'll kind of catch up on it in this video. I, I don't even know really where to start. First new thing. Um, new place. Um, I've got a garage. You're going to see that in a moment here. And tomorrow, I mean, you'll see it in this video. I'm going to be going back home and getting a new daily car. So the Odyssey is no longer going to be my daily, and that's going to be a full-blown project. So no more, like, me kind of wussing out, saying, oh, that's going to be, cause it's, you know, it's going to take me a week to do that, and I won't be able to drive it that time. No more of that. I'll actually be able to get some serious stuff done on it. We got some new lights coming for the garage. Uh, you'll see, I kind of need to brighten that up too. So here it is. Um, it's not the biggest space, but you know, I'm actually able to get a little bit of work done in here. Not have to worry about it being freezing outside or snowing, raining, whatever. I'll actually be able to kind of work. That's nice, but you can kind of see it's a little dark in here. Especially when you start getting down low. And like, especially here in the back, you can kind of tell why I need the extra light. So, I'll be putting up a few extra lights. And also, I mean, the other thing is it's kind of cold outside. I don't know, let's, let's see. It, it's 33 degrees outside, and I'm not going to go ahead and say it's comfortable in here, but it's definitely not cold. I had to guess it would be at least 50 degrees in here. So it's definitely workable. And once I get a few extra lights in here, it'll feel even warmer from all the energy those are using. So this will be pretty darn nice. Yeah, it's definitely been a while and I'm, I'm glad to be back. Um, a lot of life stuff was going on, a lot of unexpected things. And that's kind of how I am here now and why I kind of disappeared for a little while. All right, we just got the new lights the other day. Actually, a lot's happened. Um, brought back the new car and we got the new lights. I haven't put the new lights up yet. I'm gonna do a little time lapse of that for you, I guess. We also, uh, while we were bringing the, the, uh, the town and country out, that's the new daily. Um, um, we actually got to see the super load, they're calling it, that was passing through Pennsylvania. It was like an old part that was like next to a reactor. And that was kind of getting like recycled and cleaned kind of deal. So we, uh, we saw it at a rest stop coming back out. And we actually went back up to I-80 uh, later that night to go and watch it go by. So I got some video of that. I'll toss that in here too. <laughs> we, we got a bunch of people coming through here and they're all driving very mad. They're all very fast. We think they just let them pass. So yeah, we yeah. think they uh, just let them all pass through there. <laughs> some of these people are definitely booking it at like at least 90 miles per hour. And this is after a long break of no traffic. All right, here we go, here we go. It's a presumably PSP car. Yeah. And we got some Ambers up here. And here comes the big mama. <laughs> big mama. <laughs> there it is. Wow. Look at that. One puller, two pushers. Oh, they are pushing. Yeah. Wow. Oh, just one pusher. Oh, uh, yeah. That's fair. Yeah. Look at that go. Thirty miles per hour. And then you got your trailing crew back here. PSP and one regular car. So anyways, uh, let's go ahead and get these lights installed. You can kinda see I'm testing them out here. Uh, they are really bright, so should be really awesome. So that's how it looks with just two of them so far. Uh, I did that one right there last night. Um, we got garage door open right now, so uh, it's a little brighter than it would be just with these, but it's 
when I was playing around with just the one last night, it was really bright. So that's really promising. Um, we got quite a few more to go. Gotta figure out what I'm gonna do for the front because I know I wanna have one up in the front and that'll help shine down on the front of the van. Okay, so we've got four of the lights up now. Uh, one of my friends in his apartment, he put four of these up and it is extremely bright in there. So just this alone should be pretty good. And all that's left, <clears throat> excuse me, um, all that's left for the front side or the front half, I guess you'd say, is light to go in front at the very end of the bay there. So that concludes the front side. They're all in place. And part of the way I set it up was with all the the uh, ends being on this side. So that way, if we want to add more over on my roommate's side, uh, we can kind of just tap off of there instead of having to figure out a whole new power source for them. So that's pretty cool. The light actually seems pretty nice and even, which is one of the important things. I mean, there's a little, there's a little bit going on there, and you know, of course, like right at the lights. But overall, it's really good. It should be plenty bright enough for working with the door closed. You know, when it gets real cold again, get a little bit of warmth right now. But later this week, it should get pretty cold. We're talking single digits, at least. That doesn't have to go out in it anymore. So that's excellent. I think the next thing I'm gonna be doing to it actually is gonna be pulling that dent on the door out. With that said, uh, once my roommate gets back, I'll close the garage door and get working on the rear side. I'm thinking I'm gonna just have one back there, one there, and I might put one in the center in the back. We'll, we'll see. So they're all up. It's actually really nice and bright in here. They're actually the only lights I have turned on for the time being. You can kind of see the garage, yeah, garage door opener lights off and the original lights are off. It is fantastic in here. I can actually kind of film. So here it is with the garage door open on a fairly sunny day. We've actually got a lot of snow outside, so that's making it look even brighter. But let's go ahead, close the door. There's still quite a decent bit of light in here. And you can see, I actually have a decent bit of light back here. Let's, let's turn all the other lights on too. I want to see how that looks real quick. And that should be a wrap for this little episode. Oh yeah, those barely do anything now. And then, yeah, that was already on. So, yeah, 
huge difference. So now I can actually kind of film in here. Uh, yeah, I am very happy with this result and we'll, we'll put a little smart plug on there so I don't have to reach up and hit the power strip every time. And it should be pretty nice. So, yeah. So with all that said, um, if you want to check out some of the stuff we've got coming up, uh, we're going to work on fixing that door. We're going to work on some stuff with the over fenders. Uh, once I, once I finally get the money for that, um, and we're going to do a bunch of stuff cleaning the van up now that I can actually film in here and I, I kind of have my shit together. Um, so if you want to see more of that, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. I hope maybe it gave you a couple ideas how to light your garage. Uh, because I mean, it was only $110 for the pack of 10 of these and you can see just incredible how the results are. So yeah, hope you have a great day. See you in the next one.